So the sea is over there. Oh, you, see, oh, you can see, see some ships. And the mountains are all over there. Yeah. And here's the Templar's church. I'm here in an old Templar church of the Knights Templars at the Via Templare. Templars Road in Albenga, Italy, where the Knights Templars went through bringing the Templars treasure from Pharaoh's Egypt into Switzerland, founding the Swiss banks with it. Listen to the prayer inside the Templars church. So this is a Templars church, it's uh, near between Seriale and Albenga, already filmed in Albenga, some Templar stuff, you know, in 2014. Um, it's closed. So this is probably, up, it, well, it's, um, it will open up on Saturday. I'll try to come back on Saturday if I'm still here. Um, so there's an Italian cemetery, there are no obelisks. So this is on the way, you know, from Rome and Sicily and Jerusalem going uh, to Switzerland. So that's why there's so many Germans and Swiss in the mountains. I even just talked to a Duke before. Um, yeah, we get some more stuff on it. So this, as you can see, it's a very old church. It's a Templist church uh, in Italy in the north of Italy, in Liguria, uh, on the way to Switzerland, between Jerusalem and Switzerland. So here they, you know, you can see there's a lot of mountains here, it's even snow tipped, as you can see there. You know. So it's uh, a, good, a lot of good places to hide stuff, eh? before they bring it to Switzerland. As I showed you before in some videos in 2014. Ah, there's the old Templar's door. I probably fixed it with a new one in it. So there's the Chiesa di San Giorgio. It's from the, uh, the 11th century. Well, the one in France in, uh, I filmed, that was with the pentagram in front of it. Century. Jesus Christ, the dear God, the Creator of all, please free us, me and my family, from the Swiss evil, whose hearts are full of hatred, whose tongues only tell lies. And where lies accumulated wealth of the world. Well, that's the other side of the church. You can see it's very old. You can see that the pillars, the six bows. Apparently, this one here is Saint Christoph. It's the one who protects the travelers. The travelers. <laughs> so I made it. I'm inside the Templar's church. I just asked some people and well, buff, they said, okay, you know, it's possible. In Italy, everything is always possible, you know? Not like in Switzerland, you know, they're all by the rule or, you know. And um, well, this is all in Italian. As he said here, so it is a Templar's church, even the road next to it is called the, uh, the Templar Road, going to Jerusalem. So here she said, the woman was really nice, that's my backpack. And she said, well here is the, this is very old, it's like um, you know, a thousand years old or something, and it's, it's showing the uh, uh, hell. You know? And there are the, this is, this is the mouth of hell. And here you can uh, purify yourself and then go to heaven. And of course in heaven there is a king. Uh, <laughs> the, 
the king, Pharaoh. Now, there's a lot of symbolics here. Uh, I probably don't see it now. I have to look at it later. You know, then I always see this, these symbolic of uh, symbology of things. You know, oh, this is the little door I just saw before. And uh, yeah. very old. But the other one in France was much older. I filmed. There was uh, uh, the one in France was destroyed by the Saracens, by the Arabs in 900. So it's interesting. 200 years before the Crusades, the Arabs completely, you know, they had a jihad going on in Europe, you know, and completely destroyed the village of uh, the town of Manosk. Like, uh, well, it's all in Italian. I film it so if you, you know, like if you read Italian. Good luck to you. I was wrong. This is actually, this is the little Templar's door here. <laughs> or whatever. People were small in those days. So it says Valle, you know, <laughs> that reminds me, you know, like here, Manuel, Manuel Valls. He's the Prime Minister of France. All Templars, you know, and he's like buried in this church, or I mean, the people with the same family name. I mean, it must be very influential, you know, to be buried in a, in a church like this. And this is not, it was 1926, you know, 1973, so that's not long ago. Only Templars get buried here. I could mount on the table and, you know, like have a better view, but no, I prefer not, maybe. And it's very hard to see, but you, you, you see that bird there? It's very hard to see from down here. And this is interesting. You see the skull? Oh, it's Templar stuff, you know, with the skull. That's why they blindfold, you know, the Templars, uh, the, uh, the Masons, this is Masonic stuff. And here, so first there's the, the king, the pharaoh, oh, where is he? Uh, oh, there he is. And above it is Ma'at. So the, the, you know, with the scales and the swords. Well, she looks like Madonna, you know, with the wings and everything, or like, you know, all those pop stars, you know, exactly the same thing in a, uh, in a Templar's costume, more like a knight, you know, you see that? Yeah. And above that, I'll just take another. So above that, you know, there's a guy with a snake around it. You see the snake here? The Oroboro. You know, it's a diabolical symbol. I think there was the head of the snake somewhere. So this is not God. This is the devil. And of course he is, you know, because this is Swiss. This is Templar stuff. Is that a head? No, it looks like a head. They believe in the devil, you know, the Templars. And uh, on top of the devil, there's the octagon, octagon, with another dude in it. It would be very interesting, you know, to uh, be able to, uh, to read this here. I'll probably see that later and there in the book. Oh, look at Templar's cross. Yeah. It's probably the, the, the satanic stuff of the, their, their satanic Bible of the Templars, you know.
Yeah. And then the devil in the Oroboro, you know, he's in an oval. He's having the oval office up there. Say. Well, aristocracy, pharaohs, you know, and then, uh, well, that, that, that's us, that's mankind lying there, getting killed by the aristocracy, with the pharaonic stuff and the devils. So the woman that opened the church for me, is, here's the church, she said, this is Via Templare. So this is the Templar's road, this one here, going to the one side to Albanga and to Switzerland, and the other side is going to uh, Jerusalem or Egypt, of course, you know, as we just saw Ma'at in the church as well. So this is the Via Templare, as she told me. So this is the very old Templar's church.